Hey everyone, this is Chris over at Ace Vacuums, your one-stop shop for all of your Kirby needs. Uh, we wanted to make a really quick video today explaining some of the issues that we see here at our store with Kirby's. Uh, so we've been a Kirby authorized service center for quite some time now. We work on all Kirby's, everything ranging back from the G1 all the way to the brand new Avalier 2. Um, the cool thing about Kirby, I used to be a Kirby guy and I totally respect how they operate their business and the quality of their products. They make a product that lasts for years and years and years. Though they may be a little pricey, their products, they hold up and they withstand the test of time and they're very durable, um, very good vacuums. And I love them. I love selling them. And all of my customers that ever purchased one were very happy with them. Um, just like with anything, they have some, you know, things like the weight of them might be a little heavier than some people like, but I do like that they have the automatic transmission in them, which makes it so easy to push. Um, so today we're just gonna talk about some of the common issues we see here uh, coming in for Kirby's. Um, a lot of them that we see um, are like, if they're making a loud noise um, or there's no suction, typically it's just something either uh, as simple as a clog or the fan. Um, the fan that's in the middle there that you hook the power head to, sometimes, you know, especially over the years, they take nicks and get banged up and things get sucked up in there. And most of the time, if you have loss of suction or you hear it making like a little bit of a loud noise, don't be alarmed. It's probably just a fan and it's a super easy, inexpensive fix. It's not very expensive to do and typically we can do them in the same day. Um, some of the other common issues is they won't turn on. Um, a lot of the times, it's sometimes it's just the uh, switch in the back. Sometimes they just get wore out um, and the switch just has to be replaced. Uh, other times we see in the Kirby's that the, um, that the uh, cord is also bad and just needs to be replaced. And again, those are two very inexpensive items um, for not turning on. Typically that's usually what it is, is either a switch or a cord. Um, some other issues that we see, um, you know, the, the drive button that comes out where you can put it in neutral and drive, sometimes those happen to pop out. Um, typically, we could install them back in. Now, once they do start falling out, that means the little, the little bearings or gears on there are kind of getting wore out. So if we put it in, we can't tell you that it's going to stay in for a long period of time. And usually what you have to do is just replace the transmission inside of there. Um, but again, we get all the parts for these things. So it's not like you have to throw your vacuum out. We can put a new transmission in there or reinstall it and give you a little few extra months or years. Um, and then you can eventually have to probably replace the transmission. Um, those are some of the common issues we see in those. Um, sometimes the roller's not spinning. Uh, we see that a lot. And typically it's just a belt replacement. Um, that belt has to get hooked on. Uh, to the power head and then when you disengage it for the uh, when you put it onto the vacuum itself you got to turn it from red to red to green to green that puts the belt onto the roller um, so sometimes it's just a belt uh, rare instances those rollers go bad but I have seen the rollers go bad and you might have to replace the roller so if your rollers not spinning it could just be a belt or the roller um, those are really a lot of the issues I mean we see some more uh, in-depth repairs uh, you know, like motor replacements and things like that, but typically those are very few and beyond. We don't see those a lot. Usually it's just a really small common issue. It's a fan, it's a belt, it's a roller, uh, it's a switch, um, it's a cord, uh, and all those type of things. I know on these older vacuums, we get them coming in 